In the infinite dark sea of space, beyond the last whisper of sunlight, a lone traveler drifts silently. It's not a spaceship crewed by astronauts, nor an investigation with a ticket for the return trip. It's Voyager to an old but persistent messenger created by humans nearly five decades ago. Most people believe that after crossing the boundary of our solar system, it simply became a silent observer, whispering messages back from the edge of the void. But now, something has changed. Voyager to witnessed something, something that was never intended to move, something that wasn't supposed to be there. For many years, its journey through the interstellar medium had been uneventful, merely particles, magnetic fields, and cosmic silence. Until the silence broke until emotion deliberate and unmistakable was caught drifting in the darkness, something moving with purpose, and when scientists on Earth decoded the strange anomalies, a chilling realization began to settle over them, what we feared deep down might actually be true. Voyager to had long passed the planets past Pluto, past Neptune, and past the heliopause, the invisible line where our sun's influence fades and interstellar space begins. Out there, it was anticipated to drift quietly, picking up minor fluctuations in space dust and solar radiation. However, it began to pick up movement, a movement of the kind that does not occur by accident. At first, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed what they perceived to be a blip in the plasma wave data spike that lasted only seconds. These instruments are incredibly sensitive and usually report on changes in particle densities or interactions with magnetic fields, but the signal this time carried an odd signature. It pulsed in a rhythm. It wasn't merely data. It felt like a pattern not natural, not random. Engineers thought it might have been interference, maybe a glitch due to cosmic rays, or even system degradation. After all, Voyager 2 is nearly 50 years old. However, when the same signal came back and with increased strength they knew something wasn't right. Because the data wasn't noise. It was a transmission. Voyager 2 had seen something, and it had recorded it. When the data was cleaned up and analyzed, something emerged that sent a ripple through the scientific community. There was a small object, about 500,000 kilometers from the probe, moving at a velocity inconsistent with any known natural body in that region. No asteroid belts. No rogue planets. No expected comets. Nevertheless, whatever this thing was, it was not just drifting. It was tracking. The direction of movement was toward the same vector Voyager to was traveling. The object's speed adjusted slightly in a way that mimicked Voyager's trajectory. Imagine a predator stalking silently in the wake of its prey merely adjusting its movements enough to stay in range, but not enough to provoke suspicion. NASA scientists weren't alone in their panic. Independent astronomers and military officials, especially those involved in deep space tracking, were drawn in. They verified it. It wasn't a malfunction. The plasma density readings, the magnetometer anomalies, even slight fluctuations in the probe's gyroscopic data all pointed to a single conclusion. Voyager 2 was not alone. And that company might not be benign. One of the most terrifying facts came not from what Voyager to witnessed, but from what it returned. A radio frequency burst piggybacked onto the regular telemetry feed contained a digital signal that had no origin in Voyager's own systems. It wasn't programmed to send this yet it did. When the data packet was decrypted, it included a collection of binary strings that, when plotted visually, formed patterns almost like glyphs. Not natural cosmic waves, not background noise, the construction of these was deliberate. Some likened them to crop circle geometry, others to symbols seen in early human history, spirals, intersections, recursive loops. A group of AI linguists and astrophysicists ran the data through contextual analysis algorithms. The results were horrifying. The signal structure was consistent with what we would expect from an intentional transmission not coming from Voyager, but rather from something else. Something that had either taken over or was embedded in the signal stream. Whether it was a warning or a message, no one could say for sure. But the implications were clear. Voyager 2 wasn't alone in deep space, and what it encountered might have noticed us back. The scientific community was divided. 
Some argued this was the evidence we'd been anticipating evidence that we are not alone. Others were less optimistic, worried that this was a signal of surveillance or worse, a prelude. In past decades, the thought of extraterrestrial life was mostly relegated to exoplanet discoveries and sporadic signals from far-off stars. But this this was close, and it wasn't passive. What made the discovery even more chilling was the timing. Similar anomalies had been observed in months worth of Voyager 1 data before, but were dismissed as static interference. Now, those readings are being looked at in a new light. And many believe we've been to blind, to arrogant, to consider the most terrifying explanation that someone or something has been watching us longer than we dare to admit. And now, they've made contact. The instruments of Voyager 2 continued to capture data. A team at the Deep Space Network received an unfiltered stream of electromagnetic readings, frequencies oscillating in ways they'd never encountered before. At first, analysts thought it could be interference cosmic rays, background fluctuations. But when the team isolated the signal and enhanced its waveforms, what emerged stunned them, a structured sequence pulsing with mathematical precision, almost as though it were constructed. Scientists ran a Fourier analysis. The base harmonic they saw was mirrored in the frequencies of hydrogen but inverted, an intentional modification of the universe's most abundant element. What could that possibly imply? The signal wasn't just noise. It was trying to speak. The team cross-referenced the signal's path with Voyager 2's trajectory, only to discover that this movement had shifted. It wasn't random it was tracking the probe. Digging into the archives, an intern at NASA stumbled upon decades-old telemetry from Voyager 1. When comparing the data, a disturbing alignment emerged. In the exact same region of interstellar space, decades apart, Voyager 1 had experienced a brief data anomaly nearly identical to Voyager 2's recent findings. But back then, the disruption had been dismissed as static. Now, in hindsight, it looked like a first encounter. Scientists revisited the Voyager 1 logs and applied modern AI-powered decoding tools to the signal distortions. The result, the waveform matched the current event almost perfectly. This was no coincidence. Something or someone was waiting in the void and it had encountered both Voyager probes. The implication, this was not the first time we had been noticed. Using precise modeling, the team mapped the anomaly's motion. It didn't follow gravitational arcs like a comet or asteroid. Instead, its trajectory bent unnaturally, as if warping spacetime itself to remain hidden. Every simulation failed to replicate its path using known physics. Worse still, the object seemed to accelerate and decelerate at will, hovering on the edge of visibility just beyond the reach of standard optical instruments. NASA scientists described its behavior as reactive, meaning it only moved in response to Voyager's transmissions. Was it listening, learning, or trying to avoid being seen altogether? Some began to question, what if Voyager 2 didn't just discover this object? It provoked it. While the object remained visually elusive, the probe's magnetometer started to register rapid magnetic flux changes shifts so sharp that they suggested active manipulation of electromagnetic fields. Around the world, conspiracy theories ignited, claiming Voyager to have made contact with an interstellar intelligence. But it wasn't just theories. A former JPL engineer leaked an internal report suggesting that the anomaly's field disruptions resembled torus-shaped energy distortions similar to those produced by theoretical Alcubierre drives or warp fields. Had Voyager stumbled upon something far beyond our understanding something capable of folding the very fabric of space? The energy patterns weren't fading, they were intensifying and every pulse, every wave seemed to resonate with one terrifying truth. We are not alone, and we never were. Back on Earth, something even more chilling began to occur. Radio telescopes in Chile, Australia, and South Africa started detecting subtle but repeating echoes of the same distorted frequency that Voyager to had recorded. These echoes were faint, buried beneath the hum of background cosmic radiation, but they shared one alarming characteristic. 
They pulsed in perfect synchrony with the transmission delays of Voyager 2's deep space signals. It was as if something out there was mirroring the probe's activity. Analysts called this the phantom pulse. Attempts to triangulate the source were inconclusive, but one thing became undeniable. This wasn't a localized anomaly. Whatever was out there, it had found a way to project its presence across vast regions of space simultaneously. The pattern wasn't just intelligent, it was strategic, as if designed to be noticed, but only once humanity was ready. At this point, the conversation within classified scientific circles shifted from what is it to a more disturbing question, why now? Voyager 2 had been drifting silently for nearly five decades, its journey expected to fade into the cosmic background. But now, just as artificial intelligence and quantum decoding reached maturity on Earth, the anomaly decided to respond. Was this a coincidence or an invitation? Some theorized that the object wasn't simply reacting to Voyager's presence, but to Earth's technological advancement that it had been silently waiting, observing, and now, when humanity had the tools to decipher its message, it finally made its move. Governments imposed media blackouts. Private observatories were quietly shut down. Even some AI researchers were reportedly taken off their projects without explanation. Behind closed doors, the question echoed louder than ever, did Voyager to trigger first contact, or did it awaken something we were never meant to find? In the end, Voyager 2 wasn't just a messenger from Earth that became the trigger of a revelation that shattered our sense of cosmic solitude. The mysterious moving structure, the mirrored transmissions, the encoded frequencies, none of it fits into the tidy boxes of human science. Something or someone is out there, not billions of light years away, but lurking in the shadows of our own solar system, watching, waiting and perhaps the most terrifying part, they chose now to respond. Not when Voyager launched, not when it passed Neptune, but now when our species finally reached the technological threshold needed to understand. The question isn't whether we're alone anymore. The real question is, what have we just woken up? Stay alert because this story is far from over. The next signal could come at any moment and the next discovery might not just change what we know about the universe, it might change who we are.